Ready. Ready. Are you ready, though, standing there in your PJs? <laughs> you weren't supposed to say that. They can't see. Yeah, but now they know. <laughs> it's early, y'all. And we're working from home, so we can... Hey, I got shorts on. I'm not in my PJs. I know. PJs. You have house shoes on. That's right, because I'm in the house. Hi. And I, did, and I didn't want to drag the mud from <laughs> going to the shop to get all the stuff back into the house. True. Because... Yeah, storms till like one in the morning here. It was awful. I was sleeping good for about 24 minutes. And then it was like right over our house. Boom. The weather the weather alarm's going off. and Yeah, every 20 minutes or so we have a weather alarm. And then 911 was trying to call because we had that notice, notification going. Oh, this has been a summer of storms for sure. But... Hi again. In the summer of working in our PJs. <laughs> working in our PJs. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller, and I'm going to be sharing more stuff that we've been picking up from yard sales, estate sales. So which Just, one did this come from? Not a clue. Not a clue. This, I think, I remember this from a yard sale, so that's, yes. that's been it. That's that, the only thing I remember. We stopped at that yard sale, and that lady... Had, was you, had went to our home it was homeschooling and used to go to our co-op and she had taught miles in the photography and yearbook class yearbook. and taught rj in some class yep so small town when you start running there's not a whole lot of homeschoolers but when you run into them at yard sales it's it's fun but y'all we just got back from FlipCon. y'all i'm a terrible youtuber because i'm gonna tell you right now i, I was there to enjoy the moment. I, I'm sure I was recording some things, but not a whole lot. It was just fun, but a little overwhelming for somebody who's used to standing in their basement for eight hours a day, not talking to anybody. But Robert was impressed. I was I, I was in there, in there doing doing the socializing and taking pictures and and you got to meet stuff. Shannon. I got to meet my You're trying to forget Shannon, aren't you? Shannon. No, no, no. That was that was the highlight of the trip. And I'm sure Jerry's gonna be insulted now. <laughs> I get to spend time with Jerry, you know, every couple of weeks, so yeah. It was it was fun. It was fun. It was an amazing convention. I have not been to a large one where you actually sat down and had panels and talked about stuff and compared and I just, I hadn't had a chance to do stuff like that. And it was very motivating. And came home and actually tried to organize my basement a little. It's, it's, it's packed, but it's a little bit better. Put shipping supplies away and all of that stuff. But somebody commented on your video from the other day. It was your video about Walmart plush that mm -hmm. they thought it was just for YouTubers and social media people, but it's not. They had, it's not. they had breakout sessions and talks about lots of different aspects of reselling. They talked about, you know, tax. I didn't go to that one. I went to a different one, but about doing taxes and reselling 101, 101. health and fitness as a, as a, a person that works from home and doesn't, you know, you might be home all day. Then you, you know, you don't drive by the gym on the way to work or something. It's so important to, to, you know, remember that we need to take care of our, our mental health, our emotional health, our spiritual health, and our physical health. Because, you know, for me personally, if I didn't, if I work down here a full day, I might get 2,000 steps because, and that's just going upstairs to eat and do whatever, but I, I am not active and that's not good. So it, it was just good reminders. You know, Josh and Haley, Harry Tornado, really focused on all aspects of reselling. And yet a lot of people there were just resellers, um, not YouTubers. But, you know, some of the, the larger YouTubers were there because it's a good time just to meet up and share your experiences. I met so many wonderful people who just, you know, wanted to chit chat and talk about just things that they have issues with or, you know, want to focus on. So, and when you go to these, you might see people, if you've never been to one, you might see people, you know, talking and kind of like they're real friendly. Well, everybody's friendly. They, everybody's they were, friendly. but the more you go to these, the more you get to know people and the closer they become, you know, as someone that you would consider a friend. So 
Yes. Go to them whenever you get the chance. Even though it costs a little bit of money, it's worth it for the mental break and what you learn and just for hanging out with people that do what you do because, you know, we, we live in a county of like 60,000 people and we hang out with three of those people that do what we do <laughs> maybe <laughs> you know that's that's about all we do you know yeah. i know there are a lot of people that resell because they show up to the same estate sales and yard sales and stuff but, but there's we don't no know them. there's no hanging out there mm -hmm. you know they've got their they've lived here forever they got their own family and friends but hang out with people that do what you do and you'll get a lot of inspiration from that yes and i got i got to speak with a whatnot representative and they had several people in the panels that have just been killing it on whatnot. So it has re-motivated me again to um, get my first whatnot stuff figured out. So it's coming soon. Coming soon. All right, let's get this, let's get this started. You've talked enough. You. I haven't even had my breakfast yet, so let's go. Me either. I haven't even finished my second cup of coffee. That's a bad thing. All right, plush that I picked up at a yard sale. Look how cute. Stegosaurus, it didn't really have a brand on here, but I paid a dollar for it. I'm thinking I'm going to list it for my bread and butter. Uh, just very interesting. I thought that was a squirrel that had been hit by a car. No. Stegosaurus. All right, a lovey. It is, see, another one dollar. It looks like Oh, baby gear. Yeah, baby gear sometimes is really, really good. I didn't comp this, but it says my buddy on there. I don't know. I'm hoping 15, 20, but it might be one of those surprises. All right, this I think was like a quarter or 50 cents. It is the dog from the St. Bernard from Elf. You know, the Elf on the Shelf, Elf Pets. I've had this before, but I don't remember. I'm going to say maybe $10 to $15 for it. Nikki, y'all, this is probably six or so of them that I have found this year. This is her tag. She's bread and butter. Probably like $8 to $10 for her. But I find her pretty consistently and she sells very quickly for me. Look, I pick up most poo. Poo is kind of slow, long tail for me. I just love them. Make sure, now that I've seen this, make sure when you're selling plush that has hook and loop slash Velcro on it, clean that. Clean them. Just use something. A lot of people say use a, like a pet comb. I have like a My Little Pony or a Barbie brush that I use, and it just kind of helps me get these off. And if you got to dig, then use a seam ripper. Yeah. Or Yes, but we lost our seam ripper. I don't know where it is. I tried to use your uh, box cutter this morning. Couldn't find it. Oh, it's over there from when I was putting away shipping supplies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not, where, not where it is when I need it. Look, I paid up for this. I paid $20, but I saw, saw some comps that I want to say $70, $80, $90. So I thought, I've got to get this. This is why I grabbed this, because I got to get this listed. But it says on the tag that it is 2018 Living Dead Media. I'm hoping, look at that, he's even got wisps of hair. Got to get your Halloween stuff. Me, I list it all year long, but I try right before Halloween, make sure I get everything listed very quickly. This is Walmart. I just did a video on Walmart plush to be looking out for. Just cute. Probably, I don't know, $10, $15 for it. I have a baggie, probably this many more. I always pick up the Fisher Price little people. Um, I usually will do like two of these together, list them for like $9.95, and then just take offers on them. I think, oh, these were in a box for free, but I did end up giving her a little bit of money. I rounded up so that, because she kept saying, no, don't, don't pay me for them. But I did just a cute lot of little people, bread and butter. Oh, and I did grab this. I don't even know who it is. I'll have to Google lens it. But these are those Disney thumbsums. 
Zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. Is that what somebody commented? Zoom said? zoom. Sum sum zoom zooms. I always forget, and then I sit here contemplating which way it should go. But I think it's zoom zooms. But I make small lots of these. I know I have a lot listed, but I think um, I need to start another one because at some point I don't like them to get much bigger. So just always grab them. My first Valentine's Day lovey. I'm trying to see who the brand is. Walgreens. Ooh. Somebody made a comment that only because I keep mentioning it in my videos, they never considered the Walmarts, the Walgreens, the CVS plush um, that I do really, really well with them. So definitely keep your eyes out for them. It's, it's, even though there's a lot of Walgreens, it's still a limited, you know, production. So once a mama has a child that's connected to one of these, they're always out looking for another one. Floppies. These are Disney. I call them floppies because they're just kind of, there's a whole series of them. Of course, I had to pick up Eeyore. Probably still going to be bread and butter. I think these were from that same yard sale where Robert picked up the raccoon. It's just kind of been sitting here. And no, that raccoon has not been listed. It is still sitting I'm going to need to take pictures, and then we're going to have to figure out how we can list it. you got to figure out where to take the pictures first. Yep. Yeah. Not, it doesn't fit where you normally take no, pictures. No, I have a limited end of a table. So, look how cute these are. I'm sure they are just modern, contemporary. I paid a quarter each. I just really like them. I, I'm actually contemplating whether I should keep these. Because I think our salt and pepper shakers upstairs, the lids are halfway broken one of them's missing i think so i may keep these i think they're cute we do not have a matching set of salt and pepper shakers no we don't it's just hodgepodge and i grabbed here's another box of smalls i've done really well with some of these like monster trucks so if i think i have one listed if this one isn't worth you know more than eight bucks or so i may go ahead and add it to another one and then look, more little people, PJ Masks, Duplos. I keep adding these two lots that I already have listed. I still have um, Peppa Pigs from that yard sale where I bought a whole bunch. I haven't finished listing them. So I've just got a nice little variety of smalls. And then I grabbed the bucket. Somebody was asking because I think I talked about a Halloween bucket that I had sold for McDonald's. We find them all the time. I, the way their, com their comment went, it seems like maybe they don't find them very often, but I find them very often. I don't think this is a McDonald's one. In fact, no, nope, big lots. I just used it for the, the bucket. But definitely keep your eyes open for the vintage kids' meal buckets, because it can be McDonald's, Subway, um, any of those. Look, I had to grab her. I did pay up. This was from my little favorite estate sale we go to. She's missing her dress, but she is Fisher Price Puffalumps. This is what I mention a lot. When you wash that vintage tag, this is what happens a lot of times. So I grabbed her. I'm, I'm still thinking I might list her for maybe $10, $12, $15. Hopefully somebody can dress her in something. I also grabbed this from that same cell. She is strawberry shortcake. I'm trying to, she's not lemon meringue. She is, I can't remember. But this is a blow kiss doll. Originally when they came out, if you squeeze their belly, it was scented. But a lot of times at this point, they have been used up in just from age and everything. Um... I think she'll clean up okay. I need to take her outfit off and get it washed. But a lot of these, maybe $15 to $20 for her. But we'll see. I'm trying to sit here and think of what her name was. I grabbed these. They are those Amiibos. I think the little boy, it was the little boy selling off his collection. I think he was selling them for two or three dollars each. each. So I just decided to go ahead and at least pick up a few from him. But I grabbed all of these. Not quite sure what the dollar, dollar values were. 
but I figured you can't go wrong with Donkey Kong and, you know, some of these others. I think I remember looking this one up, but I don't remember the values. But I'll show you guys when I... Not all of them are worth picking up, but I just thought some of these were interesting. I used Google Lens, but now I'm not remembering. I don't find these very often, but this is actually one of the dollhouse figures for little tykes. Um, very seldom. There's a there's the vintage ones that um, I'll put a comp up so you guys can see what they look like. They're they're very uh, blocky. But this is another series that they came out with. So whenever you see figures like this, at least look and see you know what comps are looking like. And these have been sitting over on this table forever. I need to get them listed. But twenty five cents picked up. Star Trek plastic cup, probably going to be bread and butter. And then this was Tupperware. I want to say I paid a couple dollars for it. Oh, it was at that yard sale over in Tusculum that day. I don't think we bought very much there. A couple of dollars. I think these are the, the Tupperware lid holders you can like mount on the inside of your cabinets and store all your plastic Tupperware lids. Just another little plush. This is Gigo, Gijo Toys. It's, there's a doll, and this is just like a teddy bear that went with the doll. Probably listed bread and butter, 8 to 12. And I grabbed, looks like three bags. All of them were two bucks each. But there was some interesting little cars in here. I'll use Google Lens just to see. But they were just interesting. And I'm sure there's probably at least one vehicle in here that's going to be worth more than the $2 I paid for the whole lot. This one intrigues me. Google Lens is really good about helping figure these out. I just thought it's Matchbox and like the Hot Wheels cars, it's something I'm not very good at. So it'll give me a chance to, you know, do some comps, see what's selling. Hi, um, I know about the red lines. I don't think there were any of those in here. But just an opportunity to learn more about cars. So that was that. And I have two more little plush here to share. This is Avon. It's, I had to save it. Oh, look how cute. It has a little pocket there. Very intriguing. There are some Avon plush definitely worth looking for. I think I shared with you guys a monkey that I found one time that was like $50. I think this one was more bread and butter. I just, it's vintage and I wanted to, to list it. I pick up most of these snakes. I paid a dollar for it. This one is Petting Zoo. Some of them sell for good money, the longer ones. This one's probably still going to be bread and butter, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with paying a dollar to make, you know, eight to twelve dollars on a plush. And then this, I'm going to have to clean it up. Hey, we find a lot of Scentsy around here, but a lot of times they want ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars for um, used ones. So I went ahead and grabbed this because it was just a dollar, but... Two dollars. Oh, yeah. Two dollars, but I just thought it was very cute. A lot of times if you get these and this has stuff like this one in, plug it in, let it get warm, and then just wipe it out with a paper towel. But I just I want to get this listed. It's very cute. All right, hope you enjoyed some of the treasures that we've been picking up. I'm going to get this stuff listed quickly and um, get this video ready to get out this evening. And get to work, right? All of us get to work. Bye.